Hello, I'm Frank Nietzsche. I'm a data manager with the US Antarctic Program Data Center. And today I want to briefly talk about our efforts to improve the findability of so-called long tail uh, data. If you look at the data landscape, uh, not only of the US, <clears throat> but there, so we can distinguish data sets in kind of two categories. So on the one hand, we have large data sets that often homogeneous, discipline specific, and you know, to a certain degree standardized by community effort. And in the US we have, for, for a lot of those, we have discipline specific repositories, for example, UNAFCO for GPS data, um, GeneBank for genetic sequences, MGDS for marine data, and so on. And uh, you know, they're really specialized and very well established to deal with the standard data and often provide really extra efforts to and um, to handle this, uh, the data and additional products. But there's a lot of data as the other group that does not really fall in this category. They're not as standardized, not uh, homogeneous, and um, uh, usually not served by this discipline specific repositories. So these data sometimes get stored in, in general repositories, for example, fixed chair, Sonendo, or others, but sometimes they're not even get uh, archived anywhere. So a couple of years back, the uh, NSF, the National Science Foundation, created USAP DC as a data repository to host um, Antarctic data uh, that can be some discipline specific if there's no other repository exists for the, for those for example we are hosting glaciology data but they also there to host all other kinds of Antarctic data that don't fall in any other um, disciplinary categories so we do host a lot of the data but still we have in the situation quite frequently that you know, for a certain project or award that different data sets of this are, created by this award end up in different, different repositories. And there's not really an easy way to find uh, what actually data sets, what are the data sets that exists for a certain project and where they are. And if somebody wants to look and search, you know, they have to look into basically search all kinds of different repositories. This makes us finding these data sets very uh, tricky sometimes. So to make it a little easier, um, we started also a little while back to create a, a project catalog where we basically uh, have an umbrella that uh, for a certain project or an SF award uh, from the Antarctic program, we collect all the, the links to the different data sets in, that exist in different repositories under you know, this one umbrella and people can search and find those uh, data sets there. How does it work in practice? So if you go to our homepage, usefdc.org, we offer different services right on bed. So you can deposit data sets or you can you know, register your project or search for data. So I'm focusing today on how to register your project. So if you click on the link there, you come to a web form that we provide where we collect basically um, basic metadata about the project, like which awards are involved, who's the investigator, and most importantly, of course, like what data sets are linked uh, or have been created as part of the project and what are the links to the data sets where people can find those. And if somebody basically creates a, uh, submits a project like that, we create a page for for each project, which has, you know, it's a title, basic information, if we have spatial information, we create a map about the extent of the project uh, spatially, then like who's involved, which other awards. And then most importantly, we have a table with uh, the different data sets and uh, which repository there it's hosting the different data sets. Um, we encourage investigators to create this uh, project pages early on as part of the project and then update the project. Um, page information over time, so if new data sets become available, they can add to the existing project. And for this, we have this uh, edit function here in, in the right top of the page. 
So all the information that we have about the project that we collect, that can be uh, searched on our webpage. We have a search function where either people can browse a table of all their different projects on the data sets, or they can narrow down the, the search by using free key, uh, keyword options, um, narrowing down by repository, award, scientific program, etc. Um, we also have a, a map option to, to search and display where uh, the projects are. So that uh, should make the different information um, on the different data sets more findable. In addition to our own search page, we also um, host this or provide information to the Antarctic master directory for data sets. We create DOIs, um, expose the data through data one and include schema.org information to make it even more findable in a, in a broader scheme of things. And so that was a very brief overview. So please let us know a few more questions about that. Thank you very much.